Hello and welcome to get started with Linux within Windows. In this video, we'll talk about Windows subsystem for Linux, WSL. WSL allows us to run a Linux environment within Windows. Before WSL, we need to use virtual machine or dual boot with Linux. If you are interested in Linux commands only, we can use git bash. Let me show demo on git bash. We can run come Linux commands in git pass. Okay. It's the test file. Since git pass is not a Linux environment, we cannot install Linux applications within git pass. So let's get started with WSL. Windows Subsystem for Linux is not pre enabled in Windows, so we need to manually enable it. To enable Windows Subsystem for Linux, um, first go to Control Panel, then in Programs, then turn Windows feature on and off, and then go to Windows Subsystem for Linux, and it should be unchecked for your case. Uh, check that box and click OK. Okay, there is also another option mm -hmm. to enable this. Uh, to do that, first go to Parcel and open this as run as administrator. Okay, I have already opened the Parcel as administrator here and run this command. Okay, and paste. Okay, and this should enable uh, the Linux Microsoft Windows subsystem for Linux. After this, uh, you need to restart your machine. Uh, I'll continue after restarting this PC. Okay. Hello and welcome back. I just restarted the PC. Once you enable WSL and restart your PC, uh, you can we can get started. Uh, uh, for then source for store Microsoft store okay uh, then we'll source for our for the Linux distro you are interested in I'll install Ubuntu uh, 20.04 why not okay uh, the, in the information to a drone windows feature on and off is also mentioned here uh, let's click get okay uh, now it's downloading I will continue once the download is completed. Okay, the download is completed. Uh, it's installing Ubuntu 20.04. Okay, it's installed. Let's launch it. In the first launch, we need to create username password. I think okay welcome back I just restarted my machine um, last time I sat down and opened the PC and that didn't work so I restart again okay let's see if this works this time once you enable the Windows subsystem for Linux and restart your PC you are good to go so then go to Microsoft eStore, just the URL. And source for the distribution, Linux distribution you are interested in, I'll install or you want to. Okay, just click launch. Okay, so the post installation may take a few time. Um, 
and once it's been installed so once it's been installed like it won't take that much long to restart it you do restart in a matter of seconds uh, i'll continue once this process is complete this is taking longer than expected the installation process take a lot some while so i decide to cancel it but uh, it shows me the error that uh, my username cannot be and my username cannot be used as username in that um, Linux environment. So uh, I just close that and try to uh, and I'll try again if we can set the username again. Okay, let's launch it. Okay, but now it uh, pick a root as username by itself. And um, okay, for your case, you probably need to provide your username and password. Mm, that's all. Then you end it up in something like this. Okay, there is nothing now. Okay, now we are in the root directory. This will lead us to one directory. Now we have um, Ubuntu within our Linux. You within our Windows, okay? Uh, if you are interested in learning some basic Linux command, I'll reference that video here. Okay, you can go and watch that. Okay, thank you. This was for today.